Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I wanted to talk about Alembic files and some reasons that you might want to add them to your workflow in Cinema 4D. So if you haven't heard about Alembic, it's a format that is really taking off lately. And it was designed to transfer animated geometry to other applications. So for instance, you could save out an animation to Alembic, then you could bring that over to Unreal Engine. And it's kind of similar to what you would have done before with animated .obj sequences, but Alembic is way better. It has really small file sizes and it's very efficient. But the thing I want to talk today about is that it's not just for transferring files to other programs. You can also use Alembic right in your Cinema 4D workflow, which I've started doing a lot. You can think of Alembic as another way to bake down your simulations, and there's a lot of reasons you would want to do this. So before I go over five reasons, let me show you how to bake to Alembic quickly. So let's take this scene with a Voronoi fracture. You can see that it's running very slowly. So you could bake this to Alembic right in Cinema 4D. Just right click on the object you want baked and then go to Bake as Alembic. If you want more options, there's another way you can do it. You can go to File and Save as Alembic. Then you're gonna get a pop-up window with more options. So you can specify the animation frames and under the options, you should probably check on selection only if you only want to bake down your highlighted object in the object manager. And if you save it out from here, you can pick a spot on your hard drive and it's gonna save a .abc file and then you'll have to re-import that into your scene. So a quicker way is if you just right click on your object and go to bake as Alembic, it's gonna save that ABC Alembic file in the same location as your C4D file is saved and then it's gonna automatically re-import it. So that's definitely the fastest route. All right, so one quick tip. If you're baking a cloner or some other objects like this Voronoi fracture, the Alembic is actually gonna make a polygon object for every single clone, a separate piece, which is not what you want because it's gonna be just as slow to work with just like the cloner. So the workaround is to remember that the connect object is your friend. So add your object into a connect and then go to bake as Alembic on the connect and then it's gonna bake it down to one object. Now that the Alembic file is done, you can scrub through it and you can see just how fast it is to work with. It's blazing fast, and you can now add this Alembic to a cloner if you want, and it will bog down, but just check on render instance in the instance mode of the cloner, and then you can make tons and tons of copies of this without bogging down your machine. You can make really dense particle or dynamic simulations while keeping everything running super fast. All right, so after that very long intro, here are the five reasons to use Alembic. First off, it speeds up your workflow and gives your computer processor a huge break. If you use Alembic, your computer memory use can be lowered a ton. It's gonna be a lot faster to work with. All right, second reason, you can easily offset the timing or speeds. So we chose to use Alembics in our flags and banners pack because they're bomb proof and they're fast to work with and because there's a lot of built-in flexibility. So you could take this flag and you can duplicate it and move it over. And then in the Alembic options, you can use the offset and you can have multiple flags that have different animations just like that. You can even change the speed that the Alembic plays. So this way you can use one Alembic file, multiply it, change the start point or the speed, and it looks like you have a bunch of unique flags in your scene. All right, the third reason is that you can send the ABC files to any collaborators, even on different 3D apps, since Alembic is very widely accepted. It's accepted by apps like Maya, 3ds Max, Houdini, Blender, Unreal, Marvelous Designer, and many, many more. So it's a huge industry standard. All right, the fourth reason. After saving to Alembic, you can send these project files to a render farm with absolutely no issues. Unlike if you're using Dynamics or Cloth Sims, uh, which sometimes mess up on render farms, if you use Alembic, it's basically bomb proof. And finally, number five is that you can scrub your animations and do test renders on any frame. Whereas if you're using something like cloth dynamics or uh, soft body simulations, sometimes you can't really scrub through your animation and you can't render the frames accurately. All right, so those are five reasons you should check out Alembic. The workflow is great. You just bake down your simulations and everything is super fast and fun to work with. Hope you learned something new and we'll talk to you next time. And don't forget to buy our flags pack because it's rad. Okay, bye.